welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're this is 726 here in Harrison, Arkansas, and we are visiting with Jamie Taylor. He is the director of the upcoming musical Nonsense. And why don't you tell us about Nonsense and a little bit of background and that okay. kind of thing. Well, Nonsense is a musical about the Little Sisters of Hoboken, New Jersey. And there are tales and misfortunes from running a leper colony in the south of France to coming home and their cook making a pot of vichyssoise soup that kills 52 of the sisters. <laughs> and the whole play Whoops. is basically them trying to raise funds to bury uh, the last four of the, of the dead sisters because they've already buried 48. Then they ran out of money due to various causes, which you'll need to come see the play about <laughs> to find out why. And so they're putting on a variety show to raise the extra money to bury those last four dead sisters. Hmm. Should we tell them where they are? The last four dead sisters? They are currently being held in a freezer, and the New Jersey Department of Health is not happy, and apparently the Ben and Jerry's doesn't taste the same either. So. Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Gosh. This is a small cast. It is. There's five women, five of our local talents. Uh, you're included. Miss Ann Limley is one of my nuns, along with Lisa Johnson, uh, Jeannie Hunt, and Serena Belonsky, and Karen McCaig, who is Dan's counterpart in Mount mm -hmm. Home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you got both your TV wives, aren't you? Uh, lucky? You got your you hands full. I show. do have my hands full. <laughs> <laughs> now, has this play been shown here at the Lyric before? It has. They did it. It was the very first play, actually, when the OAC purchased the Lyric oh, in 99. Nice. Okay. It was the very first musical that was produced on the stage there at the Lyric. Yeah, so. we didn't talk about this. The, there's a lot of music numbers in this one. There is. There are, um, I think, about 12, I think, all together. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's singing, dancing, a lot of comedy, a bit with a puppet. Everybody loves a puppet. Oh, my gosh, yeah. A lot of audience <laughs> participation. Uh, mm -hmm. prizes to be won, so if you need to come and watch it, raise your hand and answer the questions yeah. when the quiz comes. Now this is going to be a two-week run, is it that is, correct? It is a two-weekend run, okay. opening this Saturday at 7 p.m. and then Sunday at 2 p.m. matinee. Then we get a little bit of a break until the following weekend on St. Patrick's Day, 17th, right. the 17th at 7 p.m., and then the following Tuesday will be our, or following Sunday will be our final run at 2 p.m. So there won't be a Friday no, show? No, no, sir. Okay, good. So it's a And you can day. get tickets at there's there's several ways. There's the lyric.org, which is the website right there, or they can call the Arts Council at 8703 the number right there. Or if they know somebody that's in the cast or any of the board members of the theater mm -hmm. company, they can talk to us and we can help them out as well. You can go right. online and pick your seat so yes. that you will have yeah. That already, if you want to already ready. But I do want to say, as a member of the cast, that I've not been in this small of a cast before, and it has definitely presented challenges mm -hmm. as far as, it seems like we had more lines, possibly. But the, the singing, there was a lot more yes. because there wasn't as many people to spread it out. Without a chorus to actually cover the parts, everybody's singing pretty much the, the main, the main right. lines, plus right. there were more solo opportunities for each individual. So in it's, the it's cast, been different. So. I mean, it in a good been. way, but it has it's been. just been different. What so. kind of challenges uh, for a director has that been for you? Well, um, we've had various challenges such as um, uh, illnesses. Uh, illness with the Almost. flu season, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. is the big thing. Uh, we've been very blessed. I think a couple of rehearsals due to weather threats such as icing. But other than that, uh, just finding the time to actually mm -hmm. work a lot with them. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of rehearsal in, but... Uh, timing has been a big thing. Yeah. Since he said that, I want to tell you, Saturday I woke up, I couldn't even speak. I had laryngitis. Mm -hmm. Nothing came out of my mouth. So it was, was it kind of a freak out moment. You think, or? Well, is that and a little bit of illness stuff and the fact mm -hmm. that I'm singing in a low register, just different, yeah. different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was like, uh -oh. <laughs> now, what, now what do I do? But anyway, I mean, we've worked through so that. The, and some that other people didn't say. Last just, week, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this last Saturday. So Four days you, ago. So what are you doing now to keep yourself? Well, I'm supposed to be not talking healthy. so much. But... Uh -oh. <laughs> you know me. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. we want to tell people again how to yes. how they can uh, get their tickets and the and the dates again. Well, there's the website, thelyricharrison.org, uh, the telephone of 870-391-3504, or go to the Lyric office on Rush Street next to next to the Lyric Theater. Um, Saturday and Sunday, this weekend, 7 p.m. on Saturday, 2 p.m. on Sunday, then the following Saturday and Sunday, 7 and 2 as well. All right. 
please come. Yes. It's going to be fun. We're having a good time doing it, and we look forward to having a nice audience. All right. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Break a leg, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Up next, we'll be talking with Valerie and Jose Padilla from J JP's uh, in the Hotel Seville, a new restaurant there. We'll be talking with the new owners. Stay with us.